So the last thing we're going to talk about in terms of pillars of player development is the mental aspect. So the mental aspect of player development involves these key areas here. So we're going to go through each of them, starting off with attitude and working our way down through good habits. Our attitude is all about how we approach the game and our teammates. A positive attitude helps create a fun and supportive environment, making practice and games more enjoyable. Remember, believing in yourself and your team can inspire everyone to do their best. So having a really good attitude, being supportive, those are the types of things we like to see that drive us up to that four and five range. If we're always critical of our teammates, maybe don't want to be there or act like we don't want to be there or show frustration all the time, maybe our attitude is part of what we can improve upon. Mental toughness means being able to stay strong when things get tough. It's about keeping your head up during challenging moments like losing a game or facing a tough opponent, missing a shot. This strength helps you to stay focused and bounce back from setbacks, proving that you can overcome obstacles with determination. Part of mental toughness, too, is envisioning the outcome, envisioning what you're going to do when things go wrong. Those things are things that we can all control. Work ethic. Having a strong work ethic means putting effort to improve. This means showing up for practice, giving our all, and pushing ourselves to get better. Remember, every step counts and hard work pays off in the long run. It's about being proud of our effort no matter the outcome. Next, we have self-motivation. This one's a tough one, and not everybody has this, but self-motivation is what drives us to set and achieve our goals, even when no one is watching. It's our character. It's our self-motivation. It's about finding what inspires us, whether it's improving our skills or wanting to help our team win. When we're motivated from within, it makes training and competition much more rewarding. Self-motivation is a very important part of the mental development of soccer players. Passion is our love for the game. When we're passionate about soccer, it shows in how we play and train. This enthusiasm fuels our desire to learn and to grow, making every practice an opportunity to enjoy what we love to do. Embrace that passion. It's what makes the soccer game exciting. Dedication. This one means being committed to our sport and our personal growth. This could involve making time for practice, staying focused during practice, staying focused on our goals, and being there for our teammates. When we're dedicated, we build habits that help us improve, and our teammates will notice our commitment too. And then last, Good habits. Good habits are the routines that help us succeed. This includes things like practicing regularly, eating well, staying hydrated, and getting enough rest. Sometimes we're guilty of taking those things for granted when they can really have a big impact on the type of player and the type of games that we're capable of playing. Developing these habits early on sets us up for long-term success, both in soccer and in life. They help us stay focused and perform at our best. So in summary, when we look at the mental pillar of player development, these mental attributes are essential for succeeding in soccer and beyond the soccer pitch. A positive attitude and mental toughness can help us handle challenges, while a strong work ethic and self-motivation can keep us striving for improvement. Our passion and dedication makes the journey enjoyable and good habits support our growth. Embrace these qualities and you'll not only become a better player, but also build confidence and resilience that will serve you well in all areas of life.